catch, they just fell right into the bucket. We dropped them into this bottom box, and we're just kind of reducing the entrance a little bit so they're not quite so scared. And um, give them some time. All these bees floating will end up inside if the queen is there. So these bees are trapped in this box. I've made a little hole in each end and I covered it with a little screen just so there's a little ventilation. These guys here are kind of standing up and wagging. And this is their way of telling all these bees that are flying around that this is where they need to be. They're exuding a this is home pheromone and fanning it into the air. There's still quite a number of bees up in the tree and they're re-swarming it looks like. We might be doing this again. I wonder if the queen's still up there. That's yeah, that's always the know, question. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Yep, we might have to. There's probably a little residue of the pheromone from the queen still in the branches. So we've whisked the box up on top of the ladder so it's a little closer for them. They'll eventually find their way in. I don't know how long we'll leave it there, an hour or so. have an idea that these bees died because of the yellow jackets. Late in the summer, they're real hard on them, they eat the larva. So I'm going to pop some of these frames up and just see what's going on. There's some drawn out comb. The new bees will love that. I'm going to take off some of these frames so that there's room to drop the new bees in. Now that one's nice and full. It's a little dark. These local bees flying around here are just scouts. I was hoping that a hive might just fly into this. Now here's a wood frame that has nothing drawn out. Oh, just a little bit right there. They look just fine. They're kind of dark, but they're all drawn out. That just means less work for the bees. They don't have to spend any time drawing them out. They can just get busy loading them up with, uh, with honey and pollen. So I think I'll put two frames on each side. Here's the whole box. It has a screened bottom board, which is a little better for ventilation. I'm just going to knock some of the debris off of this from the water. They're mostly stuck to the lid. The queen will be in there in the middle somewhere. And here we go. Most of them are in. I'm going to leave that frame in there and just let them settle in at their own pace. I think I will try to get the rest of these out. And that did it, all except one. So this hive is open all the way across the front here. And I'm going to give them the best chance of protecting this hive. So I'm just going to cover up that opening like that. That leaves them a couple of inches. That's not a real official piece of equipment, but it works. I think it's a piece of roofing. After they're established in there real well, we'll open that up so they can really work and get the numbers in and out really fast. So most of the bees are in the box now, and there's plenty of room in there. It's not like there's so many bees that there's not room for these frames. So I'm going to put these frames in there and give them a little more place to, to land and to work. Just going kind of slow and careful so I don't smash any. When you smash a bee, all the bees instantly know it because of their pheromone that is released. And then there is a real problem. And then you are likely to get stung. So you try real hard not to hurt them. I want to do this tonight so that I don't have to open up this hive for a while. Maybe a week or so to see if the queen is laying eggs. 
But before then, I don't want to have to bother them or disturb them. Much better to just leave them alone. They're not too defensive yet, but by tomorrow, they're going to be.